One of the differences, it seems that, you know, somewhere along the line, we, we kind of decided to outsource our health, you know, and, and there's this kind of feeling that the doctor's in charge, you know, and I'm, I'm wondering when did that kind of disempowerment kind of arise? Do you, um, do you agree with that statement? At well, a societal level? We well, yeah, uh, it's it's almost like a cult or a religion or the creation of demigods, uh, the, the medical profession. Uh, they're not to be questioned. Uh, they are the authority. And and uh, that's that's been challenged uh, uh, um, uh, over the last few decades. And we uh, are seeing a shift in 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 uh, it, it's not a. Uh, situation where physicians are uh, exerting uh, authority over their patients. They're working with their patients to achieve a common goal. And it's, that's a big change in, in, in philosophy and approach. It's, it's slowly happening. Um, uh, it, it, and we, we see that in, in uh, I'm kind of at the end of the baby boomers, but uh, I think my, uh, contrarian nature uh to to some uh you know authority has to make sense or i question it i guess um but um uh, people that are older than me uh, they, they do a lot of them do not question uh, the authority of their doctor and they they blindly trust uh what uh that doctor uh says they believe in in, in their their authority and um you know uh i i uh i encourage people to to really learn about their body and their mind and their heart and their emotions and, and their social interactions and um that's who they are and these are uh really important uh gifts that they have to to be vigilant in, in protecting and it's their responsibility and they cannot give that responsibility to someone else. They can take the information that that person provides, but ultimately the choices they make in their life in those areas comes down to their own personal responsibility. Mm. Um, that's, that's what I, that's what I promote.